Gamer76. Hello everyone, I'm the Gamer76 and this is my 49th ever video. And um, I'm doing a squishy makeover, blah blah blah, whatever. I'm already super late for this video so I'm not gonna blab for very long, so just go ahead. So here are all the squishies. Pink elephant, a purple elephant, a giraffe, and a bunny. Who's going to be first? You guys can go, because it's the bunny. <laughs> Starting with sanding, but this sandpaper was a bit worn out. You'll see what I mean later. Now I'm grabbing some puppy paint and I'm going in for the mouth because she will not be smiling. Also doing the seams because they are ugly. Let's try so I can get to the paint. That's empty, so I'm gonna have to make some more. I'm putting in some brown paint and some orange puffy paint. The orange wasn't strong enough, so I decided to add some soft matte orange as well. I had to kill the brown. <laughs> this is just me f finishing up the color. <laughs> now I'm going to paint in the fur with the brown. You may notice that I miss pretty much the whole body, also one of her arms. Well, that's because I'm putting this bunny in clothes. I had a few more coats, then I went on to the back side. This is after that. Looks good, right? Wrong. The paint is peeling. While I peel the paint, which hurts me. I will mention that this actually happened to all of the squishies I did today, but I only recorded me peeling it once. I don't want to relive that more than once. I had to re-sand her, and while I did that, I was pushing down really hard. I did not want to have to peel the paint again. Wait, where'd you go? Oh hey, it's back to the point it was before I had to peel it. Nice. Then I brought in some orange paint because I'm putting her in the same kind of clothes as the monkey because she is a nun knee rabbit. If you like that idea, you can thank my parents. They came up with it. Thanks, mom and dad. I noticed that there were indents for a stomach patch, but that would be covered by the robes, so I don't want that. The paint on her back was separating a bit, which I noticed was a sign of being not sanded well enough, so I sanded it again. I did originally paint it so both arms are covered. Because of my research, the nuns usually dress a bit more modest than the monks. But I thought it didn't match the monkey enough, so I changed that. Don't complain at me about it. This is my universe, and I'm doing it my way. This is still way more modest than a normal bunny is, so no complaints are welcome. I brought in my brown paint, but look, it's empty. I have to make more. So let's do that. Opening up the brown. Ew. Now I'm adding more coats. I don't usually record the extra coats, but the camera was already running, so why not? That's not a squishy. That's the cat we found. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of him because my mom's allergic. Bringing in my light pink for the flower. Opening that up. Tough. 
Pixar pink, but I decided that pink was too light, so I brought in the bright pink I made for a future squishy in this video. Then I painted the flower bright pink. Then I brought in the bright orange I made for later as well for the middle of the flower, because I wanted this to look like a lotus flower, because I have been to a monastery, and they had lotus flowers there. I didn't personally see the flowers, but they definitely have them. Now that that is coated on, I blended them together because I looked up pictures of lotus flowers and the colors are blended. I did bring in the light pink again for the inner ear and nose, because I thought the bright pink would look a bit odd. Then I went in with some black to paint her eyes closed because she is meditating. I wanted her to be a set with monkey. E. Being a matching monkey, e, I added some blush to her cheeks. Even though it makes no sense for her to be blushing while meditating, monkey e was blushing, so they must match. Then I added eyebrows and signed it because it's mine. Here's the before and after. Slightly different than the past because they're photos instead of videos. Okay, we're back to the remaining victims. Elephants and a giraffe. Speaking of, he will be next. Y'all can go. I brought in my scissors, then I realized the sanding is first. So doing that, now it's time for the seams. Finished with that, so now it's time for puppy paint. Now that's dry, so I'm getting a palette. Oh, you're here already. I'm getting some white paint for a base coat because I will be using quite a light color. I'm going in with that. That's fully done and dry, so I'm bringing in my paint containers to make an off-white. Of course, starting with white. Then adding some yellow. And also orange. Then I added more yellow because I felt that it needed it. Now that that's done, I'm actually painting him that color, but only his head because I have a plan. I'm not telling you yet because watch time, I guess. I brought in the brown from earlier for the giraffe spots because those exist. Then I brought in a paper plate for white and black. Why white and black? It's because I'm putting him in a suit. I will be honest here, I originally chose to paint on the squishy only because I knew the word for ossicones, but I really didn't have an idea for him. Then I noticed his tie, and then I decided on a suit. Then I fell in love with the idea. That's finished, so I brought in some red for the tie. Squeezing some of that out, then dipping in my dotting tool, then applying the paint. time for the face, which was also part of my plan. Half open eyes? No, he isn't tired. Keep trying. Then I added a straight face, then I hated it, so I painted over it. Then I added some lines on his eyes. Then I added some pupils. At this point, I think you can tell he is meant to look angry, because I imagine him as like a judgmental or angry CEO or manager. I don't know which one I should make him. Then I tried again for the mouth, but I also hated that, so I painted over it again. I added some pink for the inner ears and nose. I finally got the mouth right. Yes, I'm happy with that. Then I added some angry eyebrows, because he didn't really look angry enough. I'm just touching up everything. And that's done. His name is Jeffrey, with a G. Also, this ended up being my favorite of this episode. And now it's time for the elephants. Purple or pink? Mm, it's purple, so you go away. This time I'm actually starting with sanding. Also pointing out this neck rip. Anyways, that's not important. Get to sanding. His skin was peeling. That unfortunately was not the only time his skin peeled in his life. Remember how I said that they were all not sanded correctly? That's what I mean. 
I also trimmed up the extra seams. Also puppy paint. Don't act surprised we've been through this. Bringing in a paint container to make a nice orange color that I may or may not have used earlier. Had to kill the bottle. I went in to paint him orange. I may or may not regret this decision, but it's already done. I can't go back. Okay, that's fully done. Oh, the back isn't done. We'll get that done already. Did that, you can't see it right now, but trust me, I did it. I got some pink that I used for his pair that you had not seen yet, but believe me, they match. Painted the inner ears that color. I also painted the under trunk part that color as well. Also his neck rope thingy. And the foot parts. Painted his tail, but I added some closed eyes. Also eyebrows. Then I signed him with the pink. Here's a before and after. I think I like it more. I'm honestly not totally sold on this design. Now it's time for the pink elephant. This is after I did the boring parts and it's time for the pink. I'm mixing a pink color that I already used twice in this video. Then I painted him pink because I wanted to make the elephants a gay couple. And I noticed that I have a lesbian couple, Jan and Jim, that have the colors blue and green, which are the colors of the male gay flag. So I wanted to do the opposite of that, a gay couple with the lesbian flag colors. I painted his eye white. It does take me a while to get to adding the color and pupils. So enjoy the all white eyes looking at you. I painted his inner ears and under trunk orange so he and his boyfriend can be balanced visually. Now I finally got to the eye color, so now you can enjoy a pupilless face. I also added eyebrows and his tail. I added pupils finally, so he looks less demonish. I also added red to his cheeks because he is blushing. Why is he blushing? Well, let me tell you the story. <coughs> the story starts with the pink one. I can't think of names, so enjoy me just explaining them having a crush on the orange one, and the orange one knew about this crush, and he developed feelings back, so randomly, he just went in to almost kiss the pink one, pretty much, which surprised him, but he also liked it, so he's blushing. <laughs> I may or may not have made this story as an attempt at manifestation. Don't judge me. Also, I added reflections to his eyes. Somewhere, I added a mouth to the bottom, but I hated how that looked, so I painted over it. And I also signed it with orange for more visual balance. And here's the before and after. Great, I definitely relate to this one more than the other one in this story. Okay, that's over. I look the exact same as I did in the intro because I literally just recorded that. Um, ew, my hair's wet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. It's a birthday, happy birthday, and goodbye.